hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you the best graphic settings to run spider-man 2 on pc and i'm going to show you the settings for two different resolutions which is 1080 and 1440p which is 2k so let's get going okay from the main menu click on settings here click on display and graphics so this one's for 1080 you should see the display resolution set to 1080 come down to vsync turn that off nvidia reflex low latency turn that on then jump to upscaling upscale method should be set to dlss and upscale quality set to quality all right this is under the display tab now coming down to graphics don't do anything with the preset texture quality high texture filtering atex anisotropic shadow quality medium ambient occlusion hbao plus screen space reflections high and ray tracing preset must be set to custom ray traced reflections high and by default ray tracing geometry detail will be set to high rest everything under ray tracing will be turned off level of detail that should be set to very high traffic density high crowd density hair quality weather particle quality all should be set to high depth of field high bloom turn that on chromatic aberration off vignette turn that on motion blur i don't use motion blur so i've turned that off field of view film grain strength sharpness full screen effects and screen shake everything to be set to default that's the graphics settings for 1080p resolution now let's get to the 2k setting display resolution 1440p vsync turn that off nvidia reflex low latency turn that on coming down to upscaling turn dlss on and upscale quality in this should be set to balanced all right coming to the graphics tab texture quality medium texture filtering 4x anisotropic shadow quality low ambient occlusion ssao screen space reflections low ray tracing turn that off completely you cannot use ray tracing with 2k level of detail high traffic density crowd density hair quality weather particle quality depth of field everything to be set to medium bloom turn that off chromatic aberration as well vignette you can turn that on motion blur off and yeah the rest again to be set to default so that's all about the video guys hope this was helpful if it was please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification and click on select all so that you will not miss out on any of my future uploads thanks a lot for watching enjoy the rest of your day i will see you guys in the next one